I'd like to show you some uh, demo of a uh, project we're currently working on our company. And it's related to something that's currently going on in Germany because we have some struggles in this country with our medical health record. So uh, as Americans, I guess you are not aware of that, but we don't have one here in Germany. And uh, uh, the, um, the law is actually enforcing um, every participant in this medical um, system to introduce a medical health record by January 1st, 2021. Now, guess what? They secure the whole system using VPNs and they're securing that with SSL connections and everything. All the medical health records are stored in a central system, like in a three bucket more or less. And we thought, could we maybe do better? The first thing is the, the app for the patients and they are creating the record on, on themselves. Everything is based on IPFS and on Ethereum. And uh, what I would like to do is I'm just creating a medical health record here. This takes some seconds because we're now anchoring uh, the identity of the user that we created here in the browser onto the blockchain. And let's give him some name. And there's a little joke in here. I think my browser crashed. Oh, it's just slow. I'm sorry. And uh, you can also choose your birthday, which is quite ridiculous because I think never no one wants to change your birthday. But this is just just a demo, right? So once you created um, this this entry, this is stored as an encrypted IPFS um, file in IPFS. And the um, the record root is anchored on the blockchain. I mean, many of you people will know what I'm talking about. Anchoring CIDs on the blockchain is not like the biggest thing to do. But what's important, and this is what many people are not aware, aware of here in Germany, is that you, of course, can share them. And uh, our idea is with your practitioners you're trusting. So we have, we have a second uh, application here. This is the application of the practitioner. And um, you must imagine if the patient goes to the practitioner's place where he's practicing, there is this QR code and the patient scans the QR code. So he gets into some kind of trust relationship with the practitioner. This is what I'm doing here. As soon as I do this, um, we're anchoring the trust relationship between the practitioner and the patient on the blockchain. But what we're not doing, we are not sending an event on the blockchain up, up to notify the practitioner that he has received a new patient. And as you can see, and this is also a question for all you guys, ah, okay, it took just a while. This was IPFS pops up. So there was a, a, so a pops up message from one browser window to another uh, browser window. There is no server in between. This is just IPFS pops up. And from, from, from that point, um, the practitioner can see the patient's uh, record. And as said, this has been encrypted on the patient side with the public key of the patient. But as soon as you as a patient decide to share that record with your, with your practitioner, um, you send an encrypted, um, you, know, you, you send the CID of the encrypted file for the practitioner to the practitioner. And just to show you that this is really working, uh, the practitioner can just put in some data here. Like sharing is not the best thing to do on Ubuntu. I'm sorry. Hope that you can still hear me. <laughs> so let's just put in some fake data here. And, um, now the practitioner is creating a so-called proposal document, which is encrypted for the patient. And he's now anchoring that new CID for you that you might consider putting into your medical health record. And uh, usually it should be mined very fast. Oh. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, now we dispatch the proposal. And on the patient side, there's already that little toast going on. And you can see on the patient side, I hope that this... working now it's not not that this entry uh, here it is okay that this uh, practitioner has sent to him is already automatically accepted because you trusted the practitioner before once so from t from um, in terms of user experience this is quite great because it feels like that the practitioner can really write into your record which he cannot he can just propose and we're accepting all these things uh, automatically uh, if there's some trust enabled and just to show you that this is really running on ipfs um i hope that this note is responding fast enough all these documents, of course, stored decentralized. And sometimes it's fast, sometimes not. You know the game, right? What's interesting, of course, all these, uh, so both applications are running a, J a JS IPFS node uh, inside the browser. And uh, yeah, it's always a matter of reachability if you can find the records as soon as if, 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 if you click on them. This is our biggest issue. So we're putting a pinning node uh, in between, which is reading the blockchain along, pinning all the documents that have been proposed or changed. So we are, are able to serve them rather quickly. Hope this is the right thing to do.